today's video is a bit of an introduction. So you may have heard me speaking about this before, especially if you follow me or follow my business page on Facebook. But I've been doing Arbonne's 30 days to healthy living. And I decided that in the month of June, I was going to document the process. So this is going to be the third time that I'm doing this program. I'm going to talk a little bit more about the program. I'm actually going to read their sort of like little blurb guide sort of intro into what the program is and then let you know my personal intakes of what I've done, like what I've learned, sorry, and my journey so far into this. Um, the reason that I've decided to start documenting it now, I guess, is um, because I'm still at the beginning of this journey and it kind of just dawned on me that, I mean, I'm literally starting a journey i might as well document it it could help other people rather than do it on my own um, and then sort of talk about it with you guys i thought i would film the whole process as i'm actually doing it it kind of makes me a bit more accountable as well and um for anyone out there that would like to also implement health into their lifestyle or change their lifestyle to a bit of a healthier one um maybe you can join with me and we can do it together make each other accountable drop me a message because i would love to connect but um yeah so i basically wanted to introduce the program and just talk a little bit about my experience and why i genuinely believe this program is really good for anyone that is looking to um implement health into their routine basically so i did just want to say right at the beginning i am an independent consultant with Arbon. my links are all in the description and that is, uh, I do get a commission from purchases made through those links, full disclaimer. Everything, however, that I am speaking about is my personal experience and I genuinely highly recommend the products anyway. So yeah, hopefully you will get some sort of information out of this anyway. So I'm gonna just start by reading what Arbonne basically states the 30 day, ugh, what Arbonne basically states the 30 day program is, so. Hey guys, so when I was editing this, <laughs> Reading is not my strongest uh, skill, should we say? So I sounded like an absolute robot and it was very boring and drone sounding. So I've decided to do a voiceover instead just so that I don't bore you to death. So the 30 days to healthy living is designed to help each person identify how they can choose to use food as fuel for their bodies to optimize how they look and feel inside and out. It will help you to identify any foods that you are eating that might not be serving your body well. Our goal is to help you tune into the messages that your body is sending so that you can eat and drink more intuitively. Give your body the nutrients that it needs to function optimally. The program will also help support a balanced gut. So much of the body's overall well-being is controlled by our gut. So supporting this area of your body will help optimize how we feel as well as how we look. The program is also designed to help us feel more confident in ourselves. When we are rested and working to reduce feelings of stress, then we are better able to care for ourselves. A positive mindset can also impact our confidence because when we feel good physically and mentally, you look good too. So that was, trust me, a lot better than the actual video of me reading it so we will get back to the video if you would like any more information about it just hit me up and i can send that to you so that is pretty much what it sums up so what i get from that and like what my outtake personally is is this is a great reset button i use it as a reset it's just something that i use as a tool to help me in terms of um have a bit of control over sugar cravings and those kinds of things. So this is gonna be the third month that I'm doing the plan. And the first month that I did it, I didn't really follow it strictly at all. I'm gonna be really transparent with my journey doing the 30 days to healthy living because that is the best way. I don't wanna lie at all. And I wanna be fully, fully honest so that I can help other people that are on a similar journey. So. The first month I did it, that was the first month I signed up, I signed up with a 30 days to healthy living plan. I didn't really fully follow it and I hadn't fully read the plan. So that for me, I think is just, that's on my, on my own 
like self to be honest i was given all the information and my laziness i didn't really read the information so um i kind of did it i did actually do the program but i didn't eliminate the foods that it tells you to eliminate i was just kind of eating normally like how i usually would but just implementing these these products into my days as well the results that i found from that were my energy levels did improve a bit yeah and my sleep did slightly improve as well i didn't see the um i was still bloated and all of that kind of stuff obviously because i didn't actually change my diet but um i was impressed with the fact that i was sleeping a bit better and my energy levels were a little bit better and stuff like that so it made me curious and made me want to do the 30 days again so the second month i literally just finished the second month of doing the 30 days to healthy living is um i did go in hard i'll be honest i went in hard for the first two weeks that's what i'll be like totally totally real for the first two weeks i went i went in and i i really did follow it strictly i didn't have the two shakes i didn't have the two shakes a day i had the one but i was very much like i limited all of the no-no foods and um replaced them with the the good foods that it tells you to do so and i did find that i wasn't as bloated my energy level were even more improved my sleep was definitely getting a lot better my skin was improving um i do have a before and after which i will pop here just so that you can kind of see it and that the before and after that i do have it was from just one week of doing the program um and throughout the whole month i literally felt that in terms of the bloating like i didn't bloat um i felt a lot yeah i just felt a lot more energized i didn't feel as lethargic after eating loads of sort of stuff like that that really helped so um that's when we get to the point now like towards the last two weeks i'll be completely honest i was slacking a little bit it's completely normal like this is a journey this isn't something that you know i don't this is about being sustainable in your life and it's, it is a journey into health and wellness so i am slowly replacing and making better choices and the program is definitely helping me do that which is why i'm doing it for the third month and i've decided to document it and this way i'm fully fully accountable because i'm literally going to be sharing every meal that i'm having every week i'm going to be sharing the exercises that i'm doing and fully my results every week and i will do the whole like you know befores and afters and all that stuff and obviously I want to put that out there that this is my personal journey this is my personal results these results cannot be guaranteed for every single person because we are all individuals we're all different and you know things work for other people things work for different peoples basically if that makes sense so um i will be sharing my personal journey and my personal um, results and if that interests anyone then obviously please do drop me a message and we can talk about the program as it may be something that you could use and utilize as a tool to help you on your health journey as well so i basically just wanted to just touch on a couple of topics in terms well not topics just a couple of facts that i've learned about changing habits because this program is perfect for that it's a good habit reset and um i was doing research into what makes us change habits how long it takes for people to change habits and like you know the fundamental principles of changing a habit because we all just want to improve ourselves we all want to have better lives and lead better lives and that's by changing out our bad habits for good ones so the 30 day challenge and i'm almost certain that all of you have heard about a 30 day challenge i literally watched a whole youtube video once of um this guy for a whole year he was trying new habits to implement new habits and he would do them for 30 days and he would he was hoping that by the end of the year he would have 12 new habits because he was doing one new habit for every month um so where does this whole 30 days or you may have even heard 21 days it takes 21 days for you to change a habit um that stems from a man called dr maxwell maltz he is a plastic surgeon or was a plastic surgeon i don't know actually if he's about still um but he was a plastic surgeon in the 60s and he observed his patients and determined that it took a minimum of 21 days for them to adjust to the changes that he made 
This information was then misinterpreted into it takes 21 days to change a habit and reality of that is that each individual kind of takes as long as they need and it can vary so although 21 days can work for a lot of people it might not work for everyone so wendy wood is um she has a book i can't remember what it's called now i'll like put a little thingy anyway and in that book she talks about the three main principles to changing a habit one replacing old with new Two, repetition is key and that the average time takes between 15 days to 254. 15 to 254. So that is a really wide, broad time frame. Um, and then the third one is a stable context cue. So what that means is that you kind of want to associate the new habit that you're wanting to implement into a habit that you've got already that you might really like so for example what it could be and the excuse uh, the um, not excuse the um example that they used in the book i think was flossing your teeth for example you may implement flossing your teeth after you've brushed your teeth so that then you know what well, after you've brushed your teeth you're gonna floss uh for me i implemented my morning skincare routine with washing my hands after I'd been to the bathroom because that was a stable cue that I did every morning I went to the bathroom. So every time I'd wash my hands in the morning, I would then wash my face because I just associated washing my face with washing my hands in the morning. So it's getting into that routine. Um, so why do I think that the 30 day plan is a great tool to use in terms of changing your habits into health? Because when you get into the 30 day plan, it hits principle number one of replacing old with new by giving you a whole list of different food of well it gives you a whole list of foods that you want to avoid and what you want to be replacing with them so it's rep it's replacing the old with the new immediately so that is pillar one of changing a habit pillar two is repetition is key you're going to be doing the 30 days for 30 days it's literally in the name so like i was saying the average time is 15 and 254 days so sure after the 30 days you may not have fully implemented all of those health habits however the likelihood is that you probably will have um, implemented some if not the majority of them and then number three is a stable context cue so you're already doing that you get hungry and that is your stable context cue that you need to eat it is literally all about your foods and changing your food habits so this kind of principle is like a given really I think but for me it's principle number one and two that really really stand out in terms of when you're trying to implement a health like a food habit if that makes sense um because obviously you want to stick at it and try and stick with just a you know a time frame of where you're going to eat really really clean and then slowly start to implement other foods that you may have already blocked out so for me i found in this two week period that i've had between my 30 days so i did a 30 days in may april may ish and um i had a two week break before i jumped back on it in june and in this two week break i've actually found that bread definitely makes me bloat so i'm going to be avoiding eating gluten and that kind of really heavy dough um and that doesn't mean I'm never going to eat it ever again because I love bread. But it just means that I know it's a trigger for me so that I can avoid it, if that makes sense. So it's all about just like understanding your body and giving yourself the chance to really know what your triggers are in terms of what's going to give you that IBS or that bloating or that uncomfortable feeling. So that's something that I've learned in doing the 30 days, which is why, again, I'm doing it again in June. Also, just because I'm on this journey and I'm really enjoying it and I'm I'm liking getting to know, you know, food and like healthier habits again and all that kind of stuff. So I'm really enjoying that. The repetition, obviously, you're going to be sticking with it for 30 days. So it's going to be easier to implement. And yeah, so I want to basically now talk about my series that I'm going to be doing. So I am going to be filming, as I've already kind of briefly mentioned, I'm going to be filming my food. So it's basically going to be a what I eat in a week on the 30 days to healthy living plan. Just so that you guys, you guys can get a good understanding and a picture of the kinds of foods that you can eat. That, you know, it's this isn't about starving yourself. It's not about counting calories. It's not about anything like that. It's just about 
changing your eating habits, your food habits for more wholesome, healthy and nutritional food to make sure that you're getting all of the nutrients that you need in your day to day. So um, yeah, I'm going to be doing four videos. So I think how I'm gonna do it is film every single day the food that I'm eating, breakfast, lunch, dinner. Breakfast and lunch will be the shakes, the hot, like I'm gonna be making smoothies. Um, you can make pancakes, you can make all sorts with them. So I'll be doing this, I'm gonna just call them shakes, but I make them as smoothies. So I'll be doing the shake in the morning and for lunch, I'll show you all of my snacks that I have and then the kind of dinner that I have. And I will do it for the whole week and um, then upload it on the Monday. Or maybe I should upload it on the Sunday. No, I think I'll upload it on the Monday. So I'll do Monday to Sunday and then that week one will get uploaded on week two Monday. And then I am going to be exercising. I haven't quite decided how much I'm going to be doing because exercise is another habit that I'm implementing that's new. So all of the exercises, guys, I'm not a personal trainer. I don't do, you know, I'm not like a big gym head or anything. This is just like, I'm literally actually am on a health journey and I wanna document it to help other people that are in the exact same situation as me. So the exercises are gonna be really light because for me personally, I know that if I go in too hard, I give up straight away because I'm just a wuss like that and I don't have the discipline and it's not ingrained in my habits to constantly stick to exercising. So I'm not actually exercising right now to go hard and to see results quickly. I'm exercising right now to actually get into the habit of just doing that. So if you are, you have a, I don't know, if you really do have a weight loss goal, this program isn't necessarily just about, you know, it's not about weight loss really, but exercising whilst doing this program will really help that. And you may wanna go a lot harder than what I'm gonna be going because I'm really focusing on just implementing healthy habits with my eating and with my exercising. So my exercises are not gonna be hard at all and i know for a fact a lot of personal trainers and people that are really into the gym are gonna just be like what's the point but for me it just makes sense and i will gradually as i get into the habit and routine of actually exercising i will gradually make it harder and harder um but i do just want to be realistic with myself because this is something that i actually really do want to do and implement into my life so i haven't decided how many health uh, how many fitness videos there will be a week but a maximum of three, I may just do it into two, but um, it will kind of just be like a legs one, a upper body, and then a core. That's what I was, that was my initial plan. I'm still gonna be, I'm still planning the exercise part of this series. So there will technically be like three to four videos uploaded in a week. Um, which is a lot compared to what I am usually doing. So it's gonna be quite a challenge. So I have given myself this challenge and I really wanna be accountable for it. So I thought, I'm just, I'm just gonna go for it. This is something I wanna do. So that was the whole plan. So I'm gonna basically have three to four videos a week documenting the whole of my experience with the 30 Days to Healthy Living. I'm going to be sharing the foods that I'm eating and um, my exercises that I'm doing, and then I will also be sharing my results. So you can personally see my physical results in terms of my body changing, but also tell you about my internal results. So the way I'm feeling, the sleep, and um, my energy levels, all that kind of stuff, I will also be telling you about that. So if you are interested in um, implementing or changing your lifestyle so that it is healthy, definitely drop me a message and I can send you the information sheet. I can't even remember what this is called. It's called the, the guide. I can send you the guide to the 30 days to healthy living. It is very informative. It's got all the information you will need. There's no obligation whatsoever. If you're just interested, or intrigued and want a little bit more information, by all means, please do drop me a message and I would love to send that over to you. Um, if you would actually love to join me as well and you know we can keep each other accountable, 
and um, I will work with you alongside whilst you're doing it while I'm doing it as well um, then also again drop me a message and we can sort that out for you and if you're just nosy and you just want to see what this is all about and what I'm doing then please you know uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel because that's where I'm going to be uploading it and I will be sharing links onto my business page and stuff like that so that you can find the channel and subscribe so that you can follow me on this journey so um, yeah I hope you guys have a lovely day and if any questions you have absolutely anything whatsoever please do drop me a message and um, yeah I'll see you in the next video which will be the 30 day series thanks guys for joining me on this journey and for just all the support that I've already had uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel like this video and comment down below thanks bye